Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, we just got the goblin attack, and now we're about to head into the camp here. Is there anything I have missed along the way? Looks like there's a little spot there. I don't know if anybody... I don't know if we can go down there. Kind of seem to take the path. Everything seems to be dealt with except this little area, which I might go and unlock on my own time. Not too worried about it, though. And then I think I'm going to explore more. Because this looks like a choke point. Like, we have to go over here to get to the grove, and then... But yeah, I'll explore a little more. Also, I found out that uh, the controller... This, this game has controller support. Let me see if I can get it working here. But yeah, it has controller support, but what I like about it is that you can use the left stick to move, and you can just zoom right in, and it works Kind of like fucking Dragon Age, dude. Doesn't it kind of look like... I feel like I'm playing Dragon Age when I'm playing with the controller. And it's got its own little radio menus. Here's all your actions and spells. It's pretty neat. But... For now... Let's go and head into... The Grove. Open up, please. Ah, oh, thank you. Emerald Grove. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Uh, I've seen much bloodier than this. Consider yourself lucky. You can cough up my payment at any time now. Uh. Where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. Nah. One fight ended, and now we're just picking another. Relax, dude. You can cough up my payment any time now. I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! Insight failed. Lamal. Intimidation. Roll the dice. Ayo! Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. Oh, you don't. More goblins could be on their way. Sure can. Time to pack. We need to leave. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Zanros. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Good thing Whatever I'm not business, here to I'd fucking to visit. Quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Hmm. Why are they forcing you out? These goblins have been... There have been many attacks like it. I won't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer. But he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. My head's a wreck. I gotta deal with this right now. What are you offering for my aid? We owe you a great debt. What little we have, we'll scrape together. 
It isn't coin we need. It's time. Hmm. Got too much to deal with right now. I'll do what I can. We're messengers now. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Yeah, whatever, dude. What's up here? Is this just, uh... Huh. All the stuff I can't take. Cool. Wonder what these are. Hmm. Anyway. He didn't deserve this. Womp womp. Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. Okay. What about you? Not now. Please. Okay. <laughs> what about you? He was joking about glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. You're scared of a few goblins? Pathetic. A few goblins? It felt like a lot more to me. A sorry yes, enemy are getting gonna be buds, dude. And I'm not ashamed of that. What are pussy? Lamau. Oh. Okay. I'm actually gonna switch back to mouse and keyboard here. Yes, here. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, get shit on. Eh. Can I get to you? I can't. Fight, friend. Oh my god, one? Are you kidding me? How about this? Oh. I guess that wasn't as devastating as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Let's end this. Hmm. Now Shadowheart can't get to him. Oh, yeah, she can. Get shit on. What's inside? Should mind my step. Who are you? You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. I have no fucking idea what she's talking about. Half thy fellow is far more noble. Uh, you got me, hand over the coin, and I'll be on my way. Do I have any bonuses? Just guidance? I don't need it. I do need it! Oh! I cannot believe I rolled two twos. Holy shit. Ass. The bloody ironies. Devils just can't stand to lose. Here. Now go back to the pit that made you. Uh, huh. That bugbear would have crushed your skull and this is the thanks I get? Why, thank you, dread slayer of bugbears. You shall live forever in my memory. Now take my regards back to that pouting Irenes and leave me alone. I'm about to fucking kill you. Whatever. What about this telescope? Peer through the telescope. Oh. Oh, shit. A dragon. Okay. Okay. 
Perception? Oh, I get nothing on this. Explain the distant object, try to make or the details. Focus the telescope on the distant object, try to get a clear view. We'll focus on it. Hey, yo, good shit. I supposed to be looking at something here? No? I uh, I actually can't do anything. You see a dragon oh, okay. circling like a bird of prey. <laughs> uh, it was a little Hunting. bit. Move it to the left. The telescope points to the left. Oh, that was where I was. Pointed to the right. The telescope points straight ahead. Okay, move it to the. Oh the no, I meant to, to, to the, the right. Damn it. The telescope point. Right. The telescope points to the right. Okay, cool. I can't change the angle or anything on that. So, let's leave. Interesting. Uh, oh, okay. This place seems remarkably tense for a sacred grove. Perhaps we shouldn't linger. But let's at least see if there's a healer to be found, first of all. You got it, babe. Alrighty. So let's go back down here. Was this anything I could do here? No, it looks like there wasn't anything over there, actually. Okay. Squirrel. Timber is his name. This squirrel might Everyone's be seen this by now, I'm sure. Adorable creature you can recall in all your stunted memory. It would be ever so twee if it were climbing a tree. What? Do you always take on such terrifying foes? You stare at the body before you. Okay. You have no idea what just happened. <laughs> uh, okay. My instincts are sharp. <laughs> the swirling bile cauldron of your brain is cooking up a poison stew. Okay. I'm inspired by the kill of that squirrel. Didn't even have any nuts on him. What a terrible squirrel. And I'm guessing this ghost goes around back up. Yeah. Huh. Is this a ladder? Oh, looks like it could be an elevator. Okay. Well, let's move inward here. <laughs> Oh, there's... I can take these. Okay. Fuck it. I'll take it all. The hollow. Okay. Hello, I sir. About our lives. Up, you. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there hey, anything no problem. you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are they really locking? Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people the here? Druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. 
You just said the region's overrun. They might not survive dire times, high stakes, I understand. Seems more like, like, seems like most of our tieflings, they'll be fine. They have devilish powers. I understand. Just like Korga. <laughs> but it had to come to this. I pray to Sylvanas each night. The Wildfather will protect those refugees. I hope. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Hmm. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna buy a bunch of shit. Sell us a bunch of shit. You know the drill. Okay. That seems to be enough. Oh, okay. Uh, before I talk to him, I just want to go through what I did. I bought this armor, but I forgot she doesn't have heavy armor proficiency, unfortunately. Uh, well, Lizelle's armor... Actually, I can do that. That gives her an AC of 20. And she is proficient in medium armor. I am proficient in heavy armor. That actually works out perfectly, so I need to sell this again. But... Uh, I also got the Spell Thief for Astarian here, who now can do pretty good damage with that bow. And then I think I just bought a bunch of health potions and sold everything. So let me sell that can one last else? thing. Of course. And then we'll but toss please, to remember, Astarian. You're not the only one in need. Cool. So What's up, buddy? Huh. You look rabid, pained, sick. Okay. You're spasming and twitching. You poor thing. What? Uh, something off. Oh, he's talking about my dark urge. Overwhelming violent desires fester in my skull. The norm is to keep dirty thoughts like that to ourselves, but <laughs> do carry on. Cruel thoughts, they aren't me. Something feel a feeling deep inside possesses me and whispers murder over and over. I don't want to confide in you, you won't take it seriously. It so. seems you've been dealt a vile hand. I say play it. Play Fuck it yeah, boo. Oh, no, he's gonna be my best friend. Okay. Cool. He's gonna be my best buddy, for real, for real. Swift as my feet can carry me. Hello, people. Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine, too. Get out while you can, the goblins will be back. Persuasion. You should stay. A single blade can make a difference. Where weak are in need, the strong have a duty. Um. Hmm. Nah, I say get out. Common sense at last. Let's get out of this death trap. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Come on, sis. We're less of a target alone. We should leave. Ah, oh, fine. Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. <laughs> Just making their forces oh, weaker. To me. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Okay. That might be worth a look. Ouch. With some gold. And a thingy. Cool. Something's the matter. Nope. Just keep clicking on people for some fucking reason. Okay. Uh actually I do know one thing about this. It's this strange ox. I swear that ox's gaze is following me. Arcana. I have a negative one to Arcana. Ooh, this will suck. Need a haul. Yo, let's go, 20. 
Fuck yeah, dude. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Moo. <laughs> Moo. Yeah. Uh, I've seen that before, but I have no idea. I, I have no idea what it's for or what to do or... I speak with a dead. Maybe I can kill it and talk to it. <laughs> but... Anyway. Check out over here. Hello. Children. Go on. Give me a best shot. You fucked, kid. Not bad. Again. Stabs him right through the heart. You provoked the blade. <gasps> Dumbass. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Uh, this wealth is hopeless. <laughs> You're wasting your time. Ignore him, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. <laughs> Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your sh The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Another escapee, thank the gods. Oh, I need all the friends I can get. Who is the one woman? Who was that woman, the one in your thoughts? You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'm more concerned about the parasite. Let's join forces. You have a mind flare tadpole in your head. Doesn't that worry you? I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin. Become a Lithid. And there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. At least not yet, thank Balderin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. I can help you hump down that devil of An yours. excellent suggestion. But your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp A away splendid from plan. Me. We'll talk more there. What about you, good sir? I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Oh, no. Uh, they're just children. What are you teaching them to fight? Be strong. Watch over your kin. Victory. Bad news, children. You're all gonna die. Nah, no, soak the battlefield in blood. Do not resist death, but embrace it. <laughs> Good job. Now they're even more scared. Okay. Oh, I think you've inspired them enough today. <laughs> what about you, sir? Step, Harry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. It's a fucking statue, my guy. You'd better surrender. The target is far better than you. <laughs> you have a better way? Because I'm all ears. I need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Detect thoughts? Insight? No wonder you're struggling. You've no balance. Space your feet apart. Athletics? Ooh. Demonstrate a swing. Show him the fluidity of movements he lacks. Let's go, baby. 
Uh, like this, you mean? Step, step, strike! Yes! <laughs> you really know what you're doing! Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. One last thing. <laughs> Don't shout out your moves like that. It spoils the surprise for your foe. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Leave. I got a battle axe. Swing and swivel and He's just wait. found it by the road? No lunch. Right. I've got food. It's locked. Water. My dagger. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Okay. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Okay. <laughs> boring. Even your cages are boring. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? <laughs> Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Hmm. Stand back and admire the guards' overflowing hate. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. Damn, get fucked. I told you. Not now. Okay. That goblin won't be the last. Cool. She ain't have nothing on her. Nothing in there either. This place is pretty fucking empty. Let's see. Already talked to those guys. Some more places down here. Bunch of stuff. Breastplate plus one. Oh, there's someone right here. Damon. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Toro. Oh. Oops. Uh, let me see your wares. That forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Let me see your wares. Oh, okay. Damn, okay, he's got a bunch of shit. Uh, let's see. Safeguard shield? Plus one to saving throws? That'd be good. How much is it, though? 110? That's not bad. There's heavy armor plus one, which is the same one I have. Chain shirt. Is that medium armor? Sure is. Uh, hunting short bow, long bow, trident. Ooh. Javelin. Schmidtmar. No, I think, I, I don't think, I think I'm going to get the shield and not really anything else. That forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elterel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Okay. Cool. <sighs> Let me equip that shield. It gives me plus one to saving throws. 
and then I can do these add the wares. Okay. Let's see here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm waiting Hello? on someone and you want him. Do you mind? Okay. Are you Barth? Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Okay. Don't make me hurt you, boy. Too late! Looking at you is painful enough. Good. Oh, okay. Give it back, kid. I already told you I don't have it. How stupid are you? I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Hand it over, or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Keep quiet and watch. <laughs> Do it, you gutless stink sack! Ah! <laughs> knew it! Bloody well knew it. Uh oh. What's happening here? The boy's a thief! And both of you thought striking a child was a suitable punishment. If his parents won't do it, I will. He's an orphan. How'd you like it if I struck you? You raise a hand to me. It'd have better have steel in it. <laughs> uh, my coin's on the tiefling. He looks angry. You goddamn snake! Go, child! And you, you had this coming. Yo, what? Oh, get fucked, kid! And stay down. <sighs> oh, I got beaten thanks to you. But at least I got my locket back. Took my leave. We've known enough grief this 10 day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. <laughs> hey! Come back here, both of you! We ain't done! <laughs> Who are you? Damn, goblins! Although ogle the gash of in her flesh. You lose yourself in the scamp's <laughs> weeping sea. Oof. It is no masterwork. But it provides a base bliss to gaze upon. Like the sight of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. I'd have done the same in your place. He let you in, didn't he? It could have been worse. You are to blame. <laughs> you put his people in danger. And what about our people? Half the crew's lying dead back in that ruin. Even the new lad, his first contract, and we land him in a god's damn goblin nest. He actually stood and fought the stupid bastard. Like I never trained him better. <laughs> I'm guessing that didn't end well. So you just left your friend to the goblins? He died with bravery, you should be proud. Bravery? No. When it gets you killed, it's just called stupidity. That was lesson one. Fleam had only bloody listened. Ah. Four mercies. Oops, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? 
I ain't exactly popular with this lot. You might be if you demonstrated more honor in your dealings. Uh, you could try to find, could try to be a little bit friendlier. All you do is stand up for your crew. I respect that. Half my crew are full of holes. <laughs> I'm, I'm just fucking all over the, the place. I'm like, uh, I'm yeah, it's your fault, but good job. <laughs> Where did the goblins come from? Who's the druid you lock track of? Where did the goblins come from? All the way from the ruins we were poking around in. And is that where you lost over to the druid you mentioned? Aye. His name's Halston. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursed in the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Ah. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Can I have a look at the contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Just tell me where to find the relic. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Huh. Cool. Damn them. Damn everything. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Boulder's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence Aww. to keep eavesdroppers out. <laughs> Excuse you. You'll be lucky to square dirt in a public house. Get the fuck out if of that's my what face. We're offered, we'll take it. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. Surely destined for the slaughter. <laughs> what would be more perfect than to die by your love's side? And known love was not enough. Jesus. I suppose we'll start in the outer city. Get a little business going. Your spiced tea is life-changing. And I can bake up almond cakes 20 at a time. I, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of endearing. Their optimism. I'm like, yeah, man, we're just gonna fucking do our own thing. It's gonna be wonderful. Oh, hello, rat. Is that a rat? I don't even know. Octa. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. I much prefer Roasted Dwarf. Jeez. Stop thinking about Delicious Dwarf and take the bowl. <laughs> what is... Grey Goo, I think I ate something like them does in the pet. I'm gonna say I much prefer <laughs> Dwarf. See how you feel when your pack is empty. It'll be this or a handful of weeds. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me. That old bucket. A whole ass chicken? Oh, there's a lot of potions. Why, hello there, oh. Sweetness. Hello. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. And yet it will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. No need. I'm fine, really. Let her fuss over you. I'm just here to trade. What are you, an alchemist? I just have a pounding headache. What are you, an oh, alchemist? Nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a 
hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. And what exactly is it? Oh, it's just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Rude? I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Don't really know what's wrong with me. That's the problem. I'm fine, just bone worry from a difficult day. Uh, it's difficult to oh, explain. I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. <laughs> My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Why, she sounds positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Something awful about my instincts, about my desires. I've got a mind flare power side in my head. There's nothing wrong. I swear everything's fine. Uh, I am... Then let all down the ethel have a look at you. First things first. Tell me what's at you. Sometimes I think horrible things. I know my past was really, really terrible oh, things. Petal, that's how it starts, you know. Thinking is only a step away from doing. Were you hurt recently? An accident of some sorts? That could explain things. I don't know. I just don't know. Mind flare parasite infected me. Ithyl tadpole worm in my head. I'm gonna say a mind flare parasite. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you truly. But I confess that doesn't explain all your symptoms. Some of the things you told me, why? I've never heard of a parasite doing that. This is serious. I've never a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes. I may have something at home. There's something strange about you. <laughs> oh, whatever do you mean, Petal? Okay. You have a certain bearing, an almost fae like quality. I detect something devilish, I think. Might you hail from Thay, perhaps? I can see her being fairy. Hey, I hope you're not calling me a dryad or bless us and save us. One of those Aladrin flighty buggers. I'm a simple woman, sweetie. Tea and potions are as exciting as it gets for these old bones. Why don't you come see for yourself? My home ain't far, and I'll be there sharpish. Here. I'll mark it on your map. Okay. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. What harm? Show hey, me your wares. Bother. What do you got? You got a potion of invisibility and a staff? Quarter staff. Bunch of alchemy stuff. Ton of gold, though. Oops. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Peck. Okay. She seems nice. Let's go back up here. Well, a lot of talking this episode. <laughs> And I think we're only like halfway through it all. Because there's still this whole area over here. He stares right past you as if you're invisible. 
or boring. You all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see nothing else on your mind. Mm -hmm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. That's a question. Damn it. I should have used that boost. I do have inspiration. And I can add a bonus. Okay. I'll take that guidance. And I didn't even need it this time. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. No trigger or handle, though. No way to open it. Huh. Oh, yep. Sure enough. Lock picking impossible. Interesting. Okay, you don't have to go all the way over there. Jesus. Metallic gloves. Cool. Uh, Astarian. Let's go lockpicking. Ooh, damn. Fuck you, are you kidding me? Try again. There we go. That works. Just four gold? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Don't take your eyes off my hands. Whoa. Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. So what's your side of the business? What? Um... I'm the guard? So... Steal anything. I'm watching you. Wish I could punt him like the squirrel. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Whoa! Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, mister. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. And make the trick and make the ring disappear. Ayo. Hey -oh. Oh. bleeding hells. That was okay. pretty cool. Maybe you don't need <laughs> extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. Tails. Tails it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? <laughs> this is no magic ring. The rooms are gibberish. Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just... Trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother, she's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. Sounds like a scam. All right, take your ring. Turn the ring and leave. Sounds like a scam. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Come on, this tinker trash scam, a clumsy one. Anyone can see this is a modified War Widow scam. I don't know what either of those are. Hey, that hurts. I'm running an honest... Uh, okay, what's a tinker's trash? When a scammer offers the target a magical object. Uh-huh. Then the ring... Then rigs the game against the target's trust to sell them trash. Huh. Interesting. And I promise, this isn't a Tinker's Trash scam. 
Fine, take the ring. I just want to trade. And what kind of con is Look, it? I swear to you, <laughs> these rings are the real deal. I promise I'm not running a scam. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? No, and I'm kicking this <laughs> ring. <laughs> You'll be sorry about this, scab. Count on it. Whatever, bitch. What fucking ring did you give me? Magic ring. Ooh. So scared. Put those on you. Because you get plus one to strength saving throws. Now if I talk to I him talk again. To dead scabs. Scab. Keep moving. <laughs> okay, sorry for taking huh. your ring. Here you go. Don't think anyone's ever apologized for stealing my stuff before. You know what? We're square. I'll tell the others to leave you alone too. Others? Okay. Wait, what others? Don't worry about it. Now you want to buy something this time? I want to try. I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. Perception failed, eh? Ring of being really invisible. <laughs> Ring of resistant to ants. <laughs> That's funny. Starfish. Yeah, you don't have a lot. Nothing caught your eye, huh? It's nothing but junk. from me to argue with that discerning eye of yours, sir. Anyway, see you again sometime. Take care. Safe travels. You realize your bag feels light. <laughs> you were just robbed. Hey, you're back. Here to buy some stuff? Uh, have you taken something? Something that doesn't belong to Me? you? No, promise. I'm just a kid trying to make a living. You know who you should talk to? Moll. She's my boss, I guess. Good at finding stuff. Her office is through the crack in the wall over there, if you can fit. Then I'll get my answers out of her. Good luck, pal. Where the hell did this other kid go? Damn. I missed him. But now I can go in here, maybe? Not yet. Something's oh, you! Maybe the um, crack in the wall's down there. Um. I've been robbed. You're the guard. See anything suspicious? Me? Suspicious? No? <laughs> Intimidation. Tell me the truth or I'll feed you the bear. Oh, you stupid kid. Just bullying these kids. Stop yelling at me, or I'll call Mol. Good, then I can toss you both into the river. Your little friend doesn't frighten me. She should. Mol's tougher than anyone. She. Um, I wasn't supposed to say her name. Anyway, I won't say anything else. You can't make me, even if you murder me. Before you can say anything else, she sprints away. Yep, looks like it's down there. Oh. Well, let's go fucking get these kids. That might be worth a look. Huh. I guess it's too freaking big for me. Okay, well, I'm gonna call it there before I <laughs> go and fuck these kids up. That'll be next episode. I show these kids what's what. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.